Hey everybody, Ryan Balanji back here with another review for you. And this time we are talking golf footwear. But we are not talking golf shoes, we are talking golf sandals. And more specifically, we're talking golf flip-flops. Before we get to that, there is a reason golf flip-flops and golf sandals exist. And that's because people like to wear flip-flops and sandals in the summertime. Or in climates where it's just nice year-round, and I'm thinking about Florida. And people like to wear them because they just want to get around in something that they kind of let their feet breathe a little bit, get a little bit of sun, they get to enjoy the golf course in a way that's maybe a little bit more relaxing. It just doesn't feel quite as stuffy. It feels kind of like you're going to like a Jimmy Buffett concert or something like that. But the downside oftentimes on golf sandals and golf flip-flops is that they're uncomfortable for one because it's difficult to walk 18 holes in flip-flops because you're essentially walking four miles, usually with a golf bag on your back that weighs 30 pounds, or you're driving in a golf cart, which lessens the load a little bit, but nonetheless, you're still walking substantially between shots and between holes, and it, it just kind of adds up over time. And the other part of the issue with golf sandals is that the spiking is often arranged in a way that is really not all that helpful <laughs> in terms of keeping your feet steady, building stability, and making sure you can get through the golf swing, not only in terms of the spiking, but also what, how your foot feels inside the sandal so that you don't feel like you're going to come out of your shoes every time that you swing, whether you swing hard or not. And so that's why I really enjoy using these Zoris. We had Zoris sent to me. I actually found these uh, on Facebook through a targeted ad. So thanks, Facebook, for tracking everything that I do. But I found these through a Facebook ad and was intrigued by the idea because of all the golf sandals I've used in the past, they're all sandal types. So they're kind of like the kind of sandals you would imagine Jesus would have worn. Like you got the Velcro strap here, then you kind of got some backing here, and then you got another strap here to kind of keep your ankle locked in, and then it's got maybe something here, maybe not, and then there's all the spikes on the bottom. And I've had some issues with them in the past. I used to have a pair of Foot Joys that I bought a number of years ago and used them exactly three times because every time I wore them, I got horrible blisters and it was totally not worth it. And you can fool me a couple of different times, but after that, I can get rid of the product. So it went in the trash. And I've used other golf sandals, which are comfortable, but they're not my style. I prefer the thong sandal. It keeps my feet in place a little bit better than the kind of shower sandals a lot of people wear. That if you went to college, you probably wore. If you live in the dorms, so you didn't get icky stuff on your feet. And for those, they're kind of hard to keep your foot in place, too, because you can slide up and down the shoe. So while you're swinging, you can lose stability. And then on top of that, if the ground's slippery, you can also lose stability. So it's not exactly the best thing, in my view, to walk on, especially if you're walking on the golf course. So when Zori's came across my eye and I realized it was a thong sandal, I had to give it a try. So I reached out to them. They were kind enough to send me a pair. I think they're beautiful. They're in five different colorways. There's green, which obviously I'm kind of in tune with green. Love the Masters. Love green in general because I play on a golf course all the time. Got blue, yellow, pink. Uh, I think there's a, just a black pair as well. So I love the look of them. You can kind of pick from five different styles so they look good. There's a good amount of stability to this shoe. I mean, you can kind of tell in terms of the thickness of this, which is actually kind of similar to what I used to have with the FootJoy golf sandal that I had. You know, it spots is about an, an inch thick, maybe a little bit thicker. As you're closer to the toe, it's not quite as, as thick. You're not as worried about that. You're really more worried about with what they have here in terms of keeping your toe inside the sandal as you're swinging. And you want to have some level of comfort there so your foot fits naturally kind of into the sandal. So that makes some sense. And then inside of this portion, you know, the portion that kind of keeps your, your toes, keeps your foot to the ground and in the sandal, it's got some cushioning here. So instead of just wearing a good old sandal that oftentimes just kind of feels like a, a strap across your leg or across your foot, that's not the case here. There's some padding here. But it's stable here in terms of there's a little bit of firmness, there's a little bit of more refined material here. Uh, so it feels like it's not cheap, but it's also comfortable in terms of how it lays on your foot. So to keep you in place. And the other part that I like here, and you can kind of get a sense of this, is that there are these raised mounds where your toes go. So obviously with a sandal, with any kind of sandal, and really with shoes in general, because you know we have socks on to kind of keep your toes in place, to keep them together, right? but not the case with a sandal. So they can kind of float all about and, and be an issue in terms of stability and also 
how you feel about swinging in them with any kind of velocity. But with these kind of raised areas where your toes should be, it's almost kind of like dividers to keep them in place, to keep them from A, rubbing against each other, and B, kind of moving around as you swing. I think that's a good touch, too. Generally speaking, these are pretty comfortable. Uh, they are a little bit firmer, so it's not like you're wearing memory foam in here that'll kind of get uh, soggy or get ruined by water. These aren't going to get wet. Uh, they're not going to stick. The water is not going to remain in the sandal while you swing. So if you're playing early in the morning with dew, it's not going to be an issue. I like that about it. It's comfortable enough to play 18 holes in them for sure. Um, the first time that you play with them, I would highly recommend playing maybe nine holes. Uh, especially if you, you're in geography or you play on a golf course where it's pretty hilly for two reasons. One, you're getting used to a new golf shoe, and you should generally do that with new golf shoes. But second, because you don't know how your foot's going to react to walking in sandals, essentially, for a, a round of golf. So you want to see how your foot reacts to walking in the sandal. They're comfortable, they perform well, but you should know how your foot reacts before you put them through the test for 18 holes. Generally speaking, if you live in a flat place, like on the Midwest, I'm looking at you, or if you live in Florida where it's generally flat, where obviously you're more prone to wear these more portions of the year, go for it. Go for all 18 holes. You're going to enjoy them. Feel great. The open air on your feet is super refreshing. It's really comfortable. Go for it. Uh, as for the stability of these, these have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different spikes. We have none kind of in the midsole port, you know, the middle of the, the, the sole portion of that. That's okay. Uh, really the big deal in my view with golf sandals is having that protection, having that stability at the front of the foot because of the way it's situated, right? You have more padding here in the back, in the middle, less so in the front. So you want to make sure that it's stable and that as you swing toward the golf ball, your foot doesn't move forward. So that's an important piece of the stability picture here. Uh, two in the back is fine. Again, probably that you're aware, because you're in golf sandals, you're going to swing not quite as hard at it, realizing Hey, you could literally swing out of your shoes. So having two spikes back here, totally fine. For me, on a dry day, on my golf course, comfortable, good stability, even no problem in sand. I mean, you just kind of took them off, sw swept the sand out of it, and on you kept on going. So I, I like that aspect of it. These are $60, which is pretty reasonable. Obviously, you pay closer to $100, $150, even $200 for golf shoes these days. So that's a decent price point for a well-made product. Not a problem in terms of the price point. Uh, the folks at Zori's told me, and I would relay the same to you, that these actually size a little bit large. So if you are like me, a size 12, order an 11. If you're 10, order a 9, size down. For one reason, it's size large. For two, once you get your foot in there, you want it to be fairly snug. You don't want a lot of wiggle room in there. So that's going to allow you to kind of get your feet right along the edges of the golf sandal, and it'll perform just well for you. So if the idea of having a golf sandal sounds foreign to you. Uh, there are some benefits to it. You get, again, what I described earlier, you get an opportunity to keep your feet out in the open. You get fresh air with them. You kind of feel like you're walking along the beach a little bit. Forces you to swing a little bit more easily, which is also kind of cool. Uh, not every place is cool with golf sandals, especially higher-end country clubs. They might turn you away. But most public courses shouldn't give you any guff about it. shouldn't cause an issue. Uh, and again, very comfortable way to play golf a little bit lighthearted way to play golf, and it's more fun. And that's really what we're looking for when we're playing golf. So check out Zoriz.com, Z-O-R-I-Z.com, if you're interested. Again, $60, not a bad investment in your game to have a little bit more fun uh, and wear something a little bit different on the golf course. So let us know your thoughts in the comments or shoot us a note on Twitter at Golf News Net, and we'll see you next time.